What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we just finished watching another episode of Monday Night Raw. And the question that a lot of people was, was asking was, is the rumors true? Is Rhea Ripley injured? And we found out relatively quick at the beginning of the show, Rhea Ripley comes out there in an arm sling. And you already can tell this is not going to be good news at all. She comes out there. Adam Pierce is waiting for her. Uh, Rhea Ripley revealed to the world that she is, in fact, injured. She's uh, going to have to take some time away from the ring. And the fact that she's going to have to relinquish uh, the championship. And, of course, the people were booing. And, you know, they didn't want that. And I think the crowd even chanted at one point, bullshit. And she uh, nodded and said, yes, I agree. It is bull crap. But she has to relinquish the title. And she has to t uh, take a step back um, to heal up and, you know, get things situated. Um, she also blamed... Um, Liv Morgan from the vicious attack that she received last week. And, you know, she blamed Liv Morgan for this this situation happening. Uh, she essentially said, you know, I get Liv, you, you're on your revenge tour, but I would have respected you a lot more if you did it to me face to face instead of attacking me from behind. So she said, whoever wins this championship, my championship, when I come back, it's on. I, I'm destroying Everybody, I'm getting it back in blood. And live. when I come back, I just want you to know I'm going to destroy you. They're going to have to arrest me because I'm going to murder you. That's essentially what it was. And then she placed the championship onto the ring mat. And then Liv Morgan comes out there. Got security trying to block, block her. And she's laughing. She's enjoying it. She's relishing in it. And Rhea's like, man, you come on. We can we can get this cracking right now. One arm or not. Security was breaking them up, keeping them apart. And Rhea, um, uh, you know, in her defiant way, ended up headbutting a JAG security right in the in the dome piece, gave him early stages of CTE. And uh yeah. He was uh, laid out, but she was furious and, you know, crowd chanting, uh, let him fight. We knew it wasn't going to happen, but it's an unfortunate situation. I know there's some people that are still saying this is possibly a work. I do not think it is. I, I think they worked the angle with Liv Morgan being able to be the one to, quote unquote, storyline injure her, injure her. And that's the way they're going to write her off TV. Um, to potentially heal up. I think some people were saying that she may have gotten injured at WrestleMania. She may have been injured at WrestleMania. Who knows? I'm not sure if it was from last week's story storyline angle or if she did suffer an injury at WrestleMania. I'm not sure. I'm sure we may get some updates on that in the upcoming days or later on. But either way, that was their way of writing her off television. She didn't get beat. She still looks a very strong. No one pinned her. It's just she had to relinquish the title due to a storyline injury with Liv Morgan, which makes sense because Liv actually has beef with her. Liv said um, when she came back and Rhea was walking down the ramp and they saw each other, uh, Liv said, I'm going to take everything from you. Well, Liv took the one thing that mattered the most to Rhea Ripley and even Rhea said this in her promo. This is the one thing that matters to me the most. Liv took that away. So the story's there. I'm I'm there for the story, and I'm liking what they're doing with Liv. Liv is ultimately coming out as a heel in this situation. People were booing her, and I love to see it. I saw somebody say, "Weren't you the guy that said you couldn't buy in to Liv Morgan? You know, beating anybody or being a, a threat? Look at you now." Well, yeah, I did say that because of how they presented her. Now they're presenting her with more edge with this. This situation of, well, th I guess this character arc of I'm on my revenge tour. I'm getting my revenge on people. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm not about to be all, oh, you know, this super nice girl. If I, if I have to hit you in the back of the head with a steel chair, I will. And that works because she attacked Rhea from behind with a flying steel chair. Rhea didn't know what hit her. So that works. 
And if that's the type of heel she's going to be to take advantage of situations, it works. They even gave her a, a little promo uh, segment backstage later on in the show after the opening segment where she was being asked, you know, how does she feel about this whole situation? And uh, Liv responded, you know, people looking at her funny like she did something wrong when it's like everyone for, must have forgot what Rhea did to me. She took me out for six months of my career or whatever the case. So the way I see it, it's eye for an eye or you could some could say a shoulder for a shoulder. And she said, this is not it. My revenge tour doesn't stop until I become the new women's champion. And I like that. So they may be setting some type of teases. Because to be honest with you, if they were to do something like that and have her somehow become the champion, because she's going to get some good heel heat, I, that would be even a better reason when Rhea comes back to want to try to get the championship that she never lost. So that's why I said what I said to that individual. Like, yeah, I can change my opinion on people if they book them correctly for me to care. I actually care about Liv now. I know hell is frozen over in 2024. <laughs> Who would have thought this was in my 2024 cards? I was getting cooked by Liv fans, and now I actually give a damn. I care because the character what they're doing with her. They're making her more interesting. They're giving her more of an edge. And she's coming off a little bit more believable because she's doing heel-like things to compensate for her size. I like that. I can respect that. And y'all heard the boos. She's going to be getting booed more and more, especially if she heals it up and she keeps talking about how she took out Rhea. No one else in the division could do it. Not no, not one single woman in the division could do it, and that's what they need to do. If you want to build Liv as this ultimate uh, piece of crap, piece of garbage, whatever you want to say, heel-like character, like a heel that you know physically can't beat these people just by her appearance, but she does things. She's sneaky. She's crafty. You know, she you know she cheats to win. And she builds herself up like she's just this unstoppable force. You can do that and it works because people are going to want to boo her for the right reasons. And we're starting to see signs of that. So hopefully they expound on that with Liv. Have her go out there and just essentially say, yeah, I did it because no one else could do it. Nobody. I'm the best in this women's division. I deserve to be champ. Boom. There you go. So, yeah. This was a, a, a pretty pretty interesting situation. Um, overall, the show was uh, pretty enjoyable. Uh, I want to definitely make mention of the new tag team championship designs uh, that was uh, created and gifted to uh, The Miz and uh, R-Truth. I'm glad they got rid of the tag team quarter belts. And now they gave them the tag team gold coin belts. The, you, you guys remember the, the golden dollar coins? That's what it looks like now. <laughs> they gave them the tag team golden dollar coin uh, belts, which I some people may not like it, but it looks way better than the, the goddamn quarter belt. So that was cool to see. And also, also, my boy, Chad Gable. He's not really my boy, not no more, but my boy Chad Gable had a great match with Sami Zayn. Fantastic match. Crowd was lit. They they knocked it out the park. The commercial sucked. But ultimately, Sami Zayn ended up winning. Chad Gable over there crying in the corner, boo-hooing. After a great match, he couldn't win the big one. And, you know, Sami went over there to console him, raise his hand up, you know, like, hey, bro, you did your thing. And then Chad ended up raising up uh, Sami's hand. Sami goes out there to his wife, to his family, his loved ones. He gives them a kiss. Everybody's celebrating. And then next thing you know, Chad Gable comes out of nowhere and fucking suplex Sammy onto the fucking floor. And then proceeds to beat him up. And the crowd's booing. And he ends up hanging up Sammy. And he's on the top rope. And he got his legs uh, like between the turnbuckles. And he got him in a uh in an ankle lock. He's trying to snap his shit up. He's trying to snap Sammy shit up. Referees had to come out there to break it up. It was chaos, but we got another heel turn in Chad Gable, which is very interesting. Liv Morgan 
on her heel persona, Chad Gable on his heel persona. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I want to see what they do with it. That's good. So Triple H is cooking up some good stuff, man. Comment down below. Let me know how do y'all feel about this whole Rhea Ripley situation. How do you guys feel about what they're doing with Liv now? How do y'all feel about what they did with Chad Gable tonight? Turning him heel. Let me know down below. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150k. And I'm still young to be the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.